date should be inserted before signing. Signing is the last thing to be done when doing this fillable form. We are going to configure a new digital ID. And you are selecting the last option. Create a new digital ID. Select that, continue. Select the first option, save to file, continue. And you populate these fields. Optional organization is necessary. Address. Country. Grenada. And the rest to live as is. So this is what you should have. And then you select continue. Okay. Um, it's required that you put a password. Use something simple. It must be at least six characters. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just using numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can use any easy word that you remember. When you've done that, save. Okay. Now you're going to select the one. You will have only one in your list, but I've had several that I several that I used to um, illustrate this. So this is the one I just made. You're going to select this and then continue. Okay, this is what your digital signature looks like. This is accepted by CXC. I've done this just the same way before. Um, and then you put in the password here that you created earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you hit sign. When you hit sign, it's going to give you the save as option. So you will change the file name to match your student uh, or the cover sheet requirement. So we'll use whatever format CXC gave you in the guide. Okay. Okay. Um, whatever. I'm just guessing this here right now. But this is the general idea and then you hit save All right and you should see your signature pop up right here okay you can go ahead and close this now and that document should be saved on your hard drive okay see this is the one i created now if you had to do this a second time for another student um, you would just open the document with adobe reader Okay, this is the same blank one we started with. Okay, um, pull this up again. Okay. Imagine this is filled out. Remember your dates before you sign. Okay, signing is the absolute last thing you do. When you click inside the signature field here, you will have your options with all your signatures you created already. So the process is easy and now you just select the one you want. Continue. Put in the password. And then sign. Okay. As so before, you name the document accordingly. The student's registration number was 555. Then that's what it's going to look like. Save. Okay. Signed. You're done. See, I have my two students here. <laughs>